I'm Marty Stauffer. Of all nature's creatures, mice have the worst public relations problem. Storekeepers and farmers despise them. Normally calm women scream in fright at their appearance. Along with rats and cockroaches, mice are called vermin. Biologically, they're rodents, but neither name, vermin or rodent, arouses our love and devotion. There's one mouse that's very different, though. The grasshopper mouse lives on our western plains and deserts from Canada to Mexico. This species breaks all the rules about rodents. It hunts and howls like a tiny wolf. Hardly bigger than a house mouse, from dusk to dawn, this predator stalks and kills insects, poisonous snakes, scorpions, even other mice. Our society rates animals by their worth to mankind. Most mice rate absolute zero. But I like grasshopper mice. They're valuable and they're cute. They keep me entertained as they scurry around my desert campfire at night. And they remind us that even the most maligned of nature's creatures has a place on this planet. So come along and explore the intriguing nocturnal lives of these killer mice. Grasshopper mice are found only in North America. There are two very similar species, the northern and the southern. This is the desert of Arizona, home for these southern grasshopper mice. Most small rodents, being vegetarian, can find enough to eat in an area of only a few dozen square feet. Grasshopper mice, on the other hand, hunt and defend territories of five acres or more. All mice are prolific and near the bottom of the food chain, which means that in a sense, they exist for the dietary delight of others. The grasshopper mouse is no exception. It must contend with snakes, badgers, foxes, coyotes, and the burrowing owl. But grasshopper mice have forged their own link in the food chain. This painted grasshopper, along with crickets, locusts, and other grasshoppers, is a favorite form of prey. A single mouse may consume its own weight in them daily. Though these mice hunt mostly by smell, their hearing is equally keen and can detect the sound of an insect walking or hopping yards away.
With such voracious appetites, it's no wonder they get into serious squabbles over food. And with stomachs as tough as their tempers, they are able to digest the exoskeletons of almost any insect. Grasshopper mice are known to use the burrows of other creatures, but they prefer to dig their own, especially the nest burrow, where a litter of two to six will be raised several times a year. In this land of hot sun and cold nights, an underground burrow is a must to shield the naked young from dehydration and hypothermia. The home base is vigorously protected. The hunting howl of another grasshopper mouse means trouble, but this male is more than ready for it. Perhaps he senses the female's nervousness about her newborns, or else he would certainly chase the intruder. Grasshopper mice are not only carnivores, but cannibals. This stranger is lucky to escape with its life. Within eight days, the babies have grown fur and it's time for their mother to teach them the eternal importance of good grooming. They're no longer three blind mice, but they will depend on their mother's milk for about another two weeks while they learn to eat solid food. Though each day they grow stronger and more curious, so far their hunting howl is hardly impressive. The male takes an active role in caring for the young. This is unusual for most mammals and almost unheard of among rodents. Now that the babies are old enough to be left behind in the nest, the parents can spend more time hunting together. The toxin secreted by a tarantula's fangs is no more fatal than a bee sting, but the short bristles on its abdomen are extremely irritating. As a defense mechanism, it combs off some of these hairs and literally throws them at the enemy. The tarantula is left to go about its business, an encounter that could well be deadly. The almost silent scuffle between these two arachnids draws the attention of the mice. A tarantula might not be worth the trouble, but a scorpion is another matter. 
The sting of a scorpion can be fatal even to humans. So how do these mice stand a chance? At first, it looks like an easy victory for the scorpion. But scorpion mouse is another name for grasshopper mouse. And this pair is not about to shirk their reputation. The first instinct is to go for the head. Another method is to attack the tail and bite off the stinger. Sometimes teamwork seems to help. And sometimes it seems that the scorpion is more than a match for both of them. As the battle thickens, it almost becomes a matter of sheer force. The scorpion is tiring, but it still has its stinger. One final furious struggle, and then the howl of victory is followed by a well-earned feast. Meanwhile, the babies await the return of their parents. 
Grasshopper mice have two or more litters a year. Sometimes not only the father, but older brothers and sisters as well may take part in the raising of a new litter. Here there is only one litter in the nest. This little family couldn't seem more affectionate and content with each other. It's hard to believe that these are the same fierce killers of scorpions and other mice. Grasshopper mice do eat seeds and grains, especially in cold climates where insects are scarce in winter. But their diet is usually about 90% animal matter, small rodents and reptiles, as well as insects. Meanwhile, the outside world is waiting, alive with new experiences and new dangers. The adult mice are cautious. Sensing danger, they wait until it has passed before venturing out of the burrow. Now the young are left vulnerable to their own curiosity. The close call makes them nervous, but at least it keeps them inside for the time being. It also seems to tire them out, and soon they settle down for a nap. When the young mice do leave the nest, they will have to learn not only what is good to eat, but which end to eat it from. This little stink bug, or pinocati beetle, emits a foul-smelling spray from its hind end. Even the adults have trouble catching it head first, so that it can be eaten. Every prize, no matter how small, is brought back to share with the family. Their appetites continue to grow in proportion to their size, and soon they will begin hunting their own food. They are learning to be cautious, but at this age, they still don't quite know what to be cautious of. One, bolder than the rest, learns the hardest way of all. In the nest, the others continue to play, unaware that now they are only two. It's an unusual mouse of any kind that reaches its first birthday. 
Before long, both parents return, as if aware that something has happened. They don't need to be able to count to know that one of them is missing. Is it too much to think that such a close family would try in some way to console each other, even if they are just mice? Grasshopper mice have many burrows, which the female helps the male to dig. Burrows for safety, for storing food, and for defecation. In their busyness, they don't notice this deer mouse watching until it decides to take a closer look. Suddenly, it finds itself trapped among the cactus pads by two balls of fury. Another deer mouse, probably its mate, remains warily at a distance. Soon, with a bite to the back of the neck, it's all over. Terrible as it may seem, it's a survival tactic of many animals to devour their prey head first, since that's the part most likely to strike back. Nights pass and days pass, and the desert is sweet with blooming cactus. Now almost fully grown, the young grasshopper mice are testing their newly acquired hunting skills on crickets. And meeting some of the strange night creatures that compete with them for insects. This pallid bat seems to want to hunt like a mouse. These bats are often found searching for food on the ground as well as in the air. It's spring, the season of plenty, and there's more than enough for everybody. It is also a season of learning, when curiosity seems more important than competition.
as potential prey, the bat is not nearly as appetizing as a cricket. This young one is now ready to assume its role as a unique and amazing hunter among rodents. Nature is just full of surprises. For me, one of the strangest has been discovering this tiger among mice. I was amazed to find a carnivorous rodent that actively preys on such a wide range of creatures, many of them deadly. What fascinates me even more is that this ferocious little hunter forms such close family ties. Even though the grasshopper mouse is a paradox among rodents, it does have its place in the animal world. Think, for instance, how it keeps potential pests like grasshoppers, locusts, and other rodents under control, not to mention scorpions. Nature has an unusual asset, and man a valuable ally in these killer mice. I'm Marty Stauffer. Until next time, enjoy our wild America.